Welcome to St. Paul's Virtual Worship Experience. those blessed hands together and let's give God some praise as we share in our Women's Missionary Society annual day. Um, we thank God for the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society uh, and we are celebrating their annual day on today. So welcome, welcome, welcome wherever you are sharing with us from. Go ahead, drop your church name and pastor in the chat. Let us know that you're sharing with us today. If you're watching with us on our Zoom, please do the same, do the same. Share uh, your church name and your pastor with us today so that we can give God some praise and some thanks uh, for your participation on today. Again, we thank God for the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society and for our president, Sister Patricia Bow Rivers, who is uh, doing a magnificent job. And for our uh, program chair, our first vice president, uh, Sister Crystal Jones. And so let's begin our worship experience today. Come on, won't you center yourselves as we lift the name of the most high God today come on come on focus right now and let's give God all the glory honor and praise for he is truly welcome in this place Come on, wherever you may be today, won't you turn that place into a sanctuary? Come on, turn your living room into a worship center, and let's lift the name of the Lord today. one more time. Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Spirit. 
have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Come on, won't you put those blessed hands together? Come on, won't you put those blessed hands together wherever you are? Come on, put those blessed hands together and let's give God some praise. Come on, let's welcome him. The Bible says he dwells in the midst of our praise. He, he dwells, he dwells, he dwells in the midst of our praise. And so we set the atmosphere even though it is virtual how many of you know that god gives very real blessings even in the midst of virtual gatherings god is able to be everywhere all at once this time we'll ask sister kelly murray to lead us to the throne of grace good morning let us pray Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you for our rising. We thank you for the ability to use our limbs. We thank you for clothing us in our right mind, God. We thank you for keeping us last night from danger seen and unseen, Lord. And Lord, right now, we welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this virtual space, God. And we just ask that you come and you touch every heart wherever it may be, God. Lord, we just ask that you get us all on one accord, ready to receive your word and your blessing, God. Lord, we just ask that those of us that are gathered together, in this virtual space, God, that we come with open hearts, open minds, ready to receive, ready to worship you in true spirit, God, ready to just have you pour down on us, God, and fill us. We've come, God. Some of us may be broken. Some of us may be empty. But God, we come right now asking you to fill us wherever we are, Lord. We ask that you fill the homes that we may sit in, the cars that we may be driving and listening to. But God, we just ask you to come in and move. Come in and have your way in this worship experience right now, God. And those who may be watching online, touch them, God. Lord, we just ask that you come you come and you come in a mighty, mighty way. This we ask in your name. Amen. In our local YPD director to give us our scripture lesson for today. Good morning for your reading this morning. I'm going to read in Proverbs 31, 25 to 27. Strengthen and honor in her clothing and she shall rejoice in, t in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of identity. Thank you. Amen. Come on, let's put those blessed hands together and let's praise the name of the Most High God. Come on, wherever you are, wherever you are, come on, won't you worship with us today? The song simply says, I'll praise your name, your holy name, I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever, Lord, I'll praise your name. I'll praise your name, your holy name, your holy name, I'll praise your name, not just today, but always. Your name, I praise your name, your holy name, your holy name, I praise your name, your holy name, I praise your name, not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I praise your name, oh, I praise your name, I praise your name, your holy name, your holy name, I praise your name, your holy name, I praise your name, not just today, but always. Thank you. 
tells you you're off to a great start. Amen. I don't know if my Apple Watch doesn't realize that I've been moving all week, but apparently it's now telling me that I am off to a great start. Wouldn't that be something if the Lord could, could talk to you on your Apple Watch and tell you that I need you to praise me? Hey, I tell you what, you're off to a great start. Uh, that means that there's some more that you need to do, but if you keep praising me like you're praising me right now, uh, I might be able to do something. Now the song says, God's got a blessing for you. Yes, he does. Now, we're not singing to ourselves. We said God's got a blessing for you. We already know about the blessings he has for us. But we want to encourage somebody today that God's got a blessing for you. Yes, he does. You need to hear it, God. God's got a blessing for you. Yes, he does. God's got a blessing for you. Yes, he does. God's got a blessing for you. Yes, he does. God's got a blessing for you. Oh, yes, it does. God's got a blessing for you. Oh, yes, it does. God's got a blessing for you. Yes, it does. God's got a blessing for you. Yes, it does. 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 Yes, it up. 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 Yes, it up.
You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Not just today, but always. 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 Now and forever. Lord, I pray to sing a song. Every time I turn around, he keeps. Blessing. Not just today. You should be encouraged because if he's, if it's not just today, but always, that means that if you're in a rough patch right now, there is a promise of an always, always. On. I, I want y'all to hear the preacher today, and, and it ain't me, so I gotta stop acting up because you know how I, I get when I don't have to preach. Amen. All right, come on, let's get to our announcements and then we'll introduce our preacher and move on with our experience. We remind you that our sick and shut in list is uh, still active. If, if you have, are in need of prayer, and you would like to be added to the sick and shut in list, there is a, a private list and a public list. Uh, just give your name to Sister Ardella. All right, and so, yes, if you would like to be added to the prayer list, if you're added to the prayer list, you can see Sister Ardella and check with her, and you can be added to the public prayer list uh, or the private prayer list. The public prayer list is uh, for our prayer team uh, and our noonday prayer the private prayer list is for me. And then on noon at 12 p.m. noon, 12 p.m. noon, we have our uh, noonday prayer. Our noonday prayer is being led by Reverend Ruth Benton. And we thank God for her and for her presence uh, during our noonday prayer at 12 noon. Wednesday, we have our Wednesday night prayer war room. Our Wednesday night Bible study begins at 7 p.m. And so we're hoping and praying.
glad to be back in the service one more time. Uh, we will now have the introduction of our preacher for today, uh, and we thank God for her presence and her participation. And so now we'll pause and have the introduction of our preacher, and then we will sing one final selection and move into our word for today. Introducing the preacher for this annual missionary day. I have known the speaker from birth and watched her transition from one stage of life to another. At times, I saw her as a mouthy little girl with a strong opinion. But if allowed, in many cases, that spirit will manifest itself and we will see the Holy Spirit in that child. She is the second daughter of four girls born to my sister, the late Gloria Sutler Reese. Her siblings allowed her to rise up as the Alpha sister. Her mother introduced her children to Jesus Christ at a young age at Metropolitan AME Church. And although Teresa was resistant, she accepted the call for ministry at the age of 19. She has been married to Donald Fuller II for 35 years and the mother of Donald III and David. She is a valued employee professionally and spiritually at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. She is also an itinerant local at Metropolitan AME Church in Lansdowne. So today I present to you a Holy Spirit filled 24 7 woman of God, Reverend Teresa Sudler Fuller. Amen. Amen. And listen, I am excited about the word that she will bring forth on today. I don't know about you. And so, come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds. Let's get our house right to hear the word of the Lord. I call 
Your name is holy. You are so holy to me. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are and holy you be. Oh! 
glory. I call you all that. Your name is all that. All that you are and all that you be. I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. You have been faithful to me. I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. Faithful you are and faithful you be. everybody. It is just good to be before you this morning. I want to give honor to your awesome pastor, my reverend brother, Pastor Guyton, and to the amazing shepherd of our house, Metropolitan AME Church, to the Reverend Maxine Johnson. We bring you greetings this morning from Metropolitan AME and from the uh, Missionary Society, the Annie E. Williams Missionary Society. Amen and amen and amen. It is just a privilege to be before you today. I want to say to your missionary president, uh, Sister Patricia Bo Rivers, God bless you, God keep you, and to the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society, God bless you. Your work uh, continues on even through this pandemic and we give God glory and praise for you and for all that you continue to do. I want to say uh, good morning to my sister friend, uh, Crystal Jones, who thought it not robbery to ask me this morning to come and just say a word for a few moments this morning on your missionary annual day. And I want to say to you, my dear uh, sisters and brothers, it is just good to be in the land of the living one more time. And for all of you who are, who are joining us, members and friends, it is such a privilege for all who have gathered on this your annual missionary day. I greet you, hallelujah, with all protocol established uh, in the joy of Jesus this morning, hallelujah. We woke up this morning and we were breathing on schedule. And so we thank God for that this morning. So let us go into prayer, our Father and our God. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. We come into your presence. We thank you that this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice, God, and be glad in it. We thank you for another opportunity, Lord, that we woke up, Lord, and clothed in our right mind with food on our table, clothes on our back, and shoes on our feet. We thank you for the word that's going to go forth, Lord, that it will be with power, with clarity and conviction, Lord, that it would feed someone's soul today. We love you, we praise you, and we give you honor and glory. This we ask in Jesus' name and for his sake do we pray. And the people of God. God said, Amen. Amen. The scripture theme that was shared with me uh, from Sister Crystal comes from one of the familiar books that we all love, um, That Virtuous Woman, uh, from uh, Proverbs 31, verse 25, and it reads as thus, Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Now that right there is already a word of power, hallelujah. And that is coming from the King James Version this morning. And let me read that for you again. Strength and honor are her clothing 
and she shall rejoice in time to come. I wanted to shout over the scripture. Hallelujah, somebody. My, my, my. Who is this woman? I wanted to go a little deeper, if you will. If I had to choose a topic, it would be in the form of a question this morning. And that question would be unto you, what makes a good missionary? Simple, not deep, to the point. I'm so glad you asked this morning. And just for a few moments, pray with me if you will. This missionary woman that we're talking about this morning, she is called, she is compassionate, and she is committed. When God made woman, oh my God, he did the thing, y'all. He had a special affection for women, starting with his own mother. When she asked his first unofficial miracle, starting with mother, when she asked him to turn mm, the wedding at Cana, the wine, they had run out. If he could turn the water into wine. And he said, woman, my time had not yet come, but because he loved his mother, hallelujah, somebody, and was obedient for her request, he did what she asked because that's what a son does. A son rises to the occasion. He had an affection for women. We are all familiar with the woman at the well. Mm, sins forgiven. And her life changed forever. Told her things about herself that nobody else knew. She knew this had to be mm, the man of God. Holly, at the woman at the well, sins forgiven, life changed forever. How many can go back in the recesses of our mind and know that when we met a man that day, our life was changed forever. And we can't forget about the woman with the issue of blood. One touch, y'all. Holly, one opportunity, y'all was made whole and healed in that moment. He knew someone touched the hem of his garment. He said, who touched me? Healing virtue has gone out of me, but she was made whole in that instance. He had an affection and a love for women. He set us aside to do a special work for the kingdom. And so for just a few moments, let's talk about what makes a good missionary. And as I thought about it, I said, first, she is called by God. God moves on her heart and compels her to go forth in the vineyard because she recognizes what the scripture says in Matthew 9, 37 and 38. The scripture is clear. It tells her and reminds her that the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Let me just pause there for a minute, y'all. Preachers aren't the only ones who are called by God. When God beckons to the heart, we must be willing to accept the assignment. The good missionary says, Lord, mm, here am I, God. I can step up. I can do it. Here am I, Lord. You see, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to toil. I'm ready to labor. Here am I, God send me. That's what the good missionary says. She rolls up her sleeves mm, and she gets to work to meet the need. And as this pandemic prayerfully, we pray we're on the other side of it almost as it begins to wind down. The call to meet the need will be for the mind of people, for the body and for the soul. So what that's going to mean to us sisters is that we're going to be able to meet the need that will be physical mm, and spiritual nourishment. Amen, somebody. We're going to have to meet the needs of everything, the whole person. We're going to have to meet the needs when we can give food and extend ourselves that way. But when we can give the word of God that is meat and manna to the soul and to the mind, spiritual nourishment as well. You ask the question, hmm. What makes a good missionary? That's what makes a good missionary this morning. Hallelujah. Secondly, she is compassionate. When we go back to the text, she is clothed with strength and honor. It takes a strong woman to exhibit compassion because we have to draw from a place of sensitivity. And let me just remind you this morning that 
everyone is not willing to be that vulnerable here I am I'm exposed I'm transparent I'm honest I'm real everyone's not willing to show themselves like that but we have to come from a place of sensitivity and when you come from that place of sensitivity some of your stuff is laid bare but if it's to help another brother to help another sister to help a little child somebody along the way said if I can help somebody along this way then my living your living will not be in vain we're going to have to be exposed y'all to help those who are in a dying world but we live y'all in a different culture now I, I struggle sometimes because i feel like i have one foot in one world and one in the other i'm a 60s baby we live in a world that is me myself and i but the proverbs 31 woman or the missionary woman if you will uses her courage to assist those who may have an emotional need why because her strength comes from the lord she goes back to that place of psalm 28 7 that says the lord is my strength and my shield he is a buckler everybody he is a way maker he stands before us and he stands with us she can go back the missionary woman to psalm 27 1 that says the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid she's on her post she's serving she's sharing god's love and she's out and she's about her father's business that's what the missionary is doing this morning she goes back to that word of first john 4 and 4 that says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world she can stand strong on god's word she can stand firm on the word that's who the missionary woman is mm, she's strong she's full of strength and honor and courage but she's also gentle her gentle spirit allows her to show love Mm, what's love got to do with it everything her gentle spirit allows her to show kindness because she realizes that her hands and her feet are an extension of god hallelujah somebody she recognizes in the earth realm that he is using her to do the work of the kingdom to god be the glory she is god's hands and feet extended y'all to a hurting to a dying world that doesn't know that jesus is still out there he's out there for us he's out there for you he's out there for them he's out there for everybody who's looking for a savior that's who the missionary woman is she's seeking who she can find to help hallelujah and she makes her way through her father's business and then finally what makes a good missionary woman she's called to the assignment she's compassionate as she's doing the work of the lord but then she's also committed to the process mm. pre-pandemic and now post-pandemic prayerfully the world is expecting the church to keep stepping up what a beautiful opportunity for us this morning for missionaries this morning for the proverbs 31 woman this morning and the missionary woman if you will because the scripture says in the text that not only is she strong and full of honor and courage but she shall rejoice in time to come mm. church she can rejoice knowing she has been raised up for such a time as this we preachers like to laugh about it we say some were sent and some went but we want to be somebody who's sent by the lord to go out mm, and to make disciples hallelujah and to help a world that needs our attention right now she's committed to the cause of christ she's committed to a hurting world she's committed to those who are coming through a difficult time it has been a long difficult two years if you will 
Mm. Some of us have lost loved ones to the pandemic. Some of us have caught COVID ourselves and didn't realize if we were going to live to make it and tell the testimony on the other side. Some of us were lacking in resources, didn't have the food that we needed, didn't have the clothing, couldn't pay our bills. But we thank God for Jesus, hallelujah, that sent somebody. He sent a missionary, hallelujah, if you will, to help us in those times of need to a world that still needs to know that Jesus saves, hallelujah, somebody, that Jesus satisfies. He will fill your soul. He will meet your needs, and he still sets free. Thank you, Jesus. That's the Jesus that comes that that comes to be a part of our process, that comes to be a part of our lives. But the missionary woman has an opportunity. Mm. Hallelujah to let them know about this Jesus. She lets the world know that it's just not about the beautiful white dress. It's not just about the beautiful white hat. We look gorgeous when we get dressed up because God has made us that way. He has crowned us with beauty. He has crowned us with strength. He has crowned us with love, hallelujah. But for the mission, the missionary also has to share the good news of the gospel. I went to the book of Acts because I love that one of my favorite stories where the man who was by the pool who laid there, the lame man, asked for help. And Peter said, silver and gold have I not, but let me give you Jesus. And Peter went a step further because he was full of the Holy Spirit and spoke the word and the man was healed in that moment and walked and rejoiced and went and told everybody mm, about this miraculous thing that had happened to him. We may not have resources all the time. We may not be able to give food all the time. We may not be able to pay somebody's bill all the time, but we can give them the best thing that there is to give and we can give them Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I didn't grow up with a whole lot myself. We didn't come from a whole lot. But I tell you, my mother's in glory now. She's going on and she's up there with the king. But she introduced us to Jesus. Best thing she could have ever given us. A wealth, hallelujah, if you will. Riches untold because we knew Jesus for ourselves. And so we have to stay on mission, missionaries. When all else fails, we give them. Hallelujah, the son of God, Jesus. The song says, how to reach the masses, men of every birth. For an answer, Jesus gave a key. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. That's what makes a good missionary. What makes a good missionary is giving them Jesus. How do we reach the world? How do we give Jesus? How do we give the, the word of God? We lift up Jesus, not ourselves. Hallelujah. We lift up the Christ. We let them know, hallelujah, who he is, what he can be to them in their lives. Praise God, everybody. Hallelujah. Because once you get on board with this awesome Jesus, your life will be changed forever. What makes a good missionary? You and you. You and you and you we have the power y'all we have the strength God has given us honor he's given us dignity to go forth and to do the things that he's called us to do hallelujah somebody and see I want to say to my brothers this morning I've been talking to the sisters but I've been talking to everybody this morning but I want to remind my brothers that missionary work if you will hallelujah is an equal opportunity ministry somebody come on and join us today roll up our sleeves and get into the trenches and get out there and do the work I want to encourage the missionaries this morning to keep working I want to encourage you this morning Hallelujah, to keep serving. I want to encourage you this morning to keep striving to please our King. We serve a risen Savior. Hallelujah. And somebody on this Zoom, on this Facebook, 
listening by phone may not know our precious Jesus. But when you keep going forth and you keep telling the Christian story, what makes a good missionary keep telling our story of who our king is? That's what makes the difference. And so I say to you this morning, God bless you. God keep you Missionary Society of St. Paul because God's going to bless every endeavor as we prepare to go back into our churches. Mm, fields are white unto harvest, but the labors are few. And so we pray to the God of the harvest as we go back into our churches to send in labors. So God bless you this day. God keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you this day and always. To God be the glory. What makes a good missionary? That's you. Have a great day. Amen. Amen. We thank Reverend Fuller for that word today. Uh, she certainly blessed our hearts and uh, blessed our spirits. It seems that we've lost our Facebook uh, feed. Uh, when the power went out, uh, it tripped some things off. So not sure what's happening, but prayerfully you'll be able to watch this again a little later on uh, once we are able to repost it. Um, but at this moment, won't you uh, just pause and reflect on the word that we've experienced on today? Uh, for certainly this was a major, major, major word and we are so glad that uh, Reverend Fuller shared it with us. Uh, the doors of the church are open. Uh, the doors of the church are open, and we are thanking God for an opportunity to experience his love, for an opportunity to experience his son, Jesus Christ. And so as we uh, pause for a moment, quite possibly as you've heard the message today, it's spoken to your heart and it has given you a new sense of focus, a new sense of belonging, a new sense or a desire uh, to be closer to the Lord today. And so if that's you, if that's you as you are listening to this broadcast on today, we invite you to make yourself known. You can click uh, on uh, the link to the inbox for Facebook. Um, you can also uh, in the Zoom chat, put in the Zoom chat that I want to be saved today. What does that mean? That means that you are anticipating and expecting God to come into your life, that you want to start fresh, that you want to start new. And so we invite you today to accept Christ as your personal Savior, to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and be saved believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and be saved. And so if that's you today and you are expecting and experiencing this pull on your heart, we invite you to make your presence known in the chat. Quite possibly uh, you're looking for a church home, a place to work out your soul salvation. We invite you to, to, to look and to join this house of worship. We're not a perfect church but we're a church striving for perfection and we are need your help we need your help we need your help and so won't you come won't you join us every christian ought to have a church home and every christian ought to have a place where they can worship in spirit and in truth and so if either of those invitations appeal to you we invite you to again click on the link and to be redirected to our inbox where we will be glad to either pray the prayer of salvation with you or to welcome you into this church with open arms. The question is, will you make room for the Lord today? Will you push aside all of those things which are not important, all of those things which are, are taking up space in your heart and won't you allow God to come into the midst and so we invite you again if this appeals to you we welcome you right now and invite you to join us and join this ministry St. Paul
I find space for what I treasure. I make time for what I want. I choose my priorities and Jesus, you're my number one. Jesus, you're my number one. I will make room for you. I will prepare for two so you don't feel that you can live here, please live with me, oh, oh, oh. live with me, oh, oh, oh. my will, you can move it over, my relationship, you can move it over, my ego, you can move that over. My plan, you can move that over. My schedule, you can move that my over. My itinerary, you can move that over. I will make room. Whatever it is, you can move that over. It's not like you. you can The musician continues to play. We invite our local president, Sister Patricia Bo Rivers, to come and extend the welcome and the, extend the invitation to the Missionary Society. Good morning, everyone. What a wonderful word this morning. I am here to extend uh, our hands to you uh, to be able to join the Missionary Society. Jenny Palmer Missionary Society of St. Paul. Um, we are doing a lot of work. We're doing the best that, that we can to be out in the community helping people. So if you are interested in being that missionary woman, please um, put your name in the chat and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful blessed day. Uh, that our first vice uh, president of our local society, uh, Sister Crystal, is on with us, and she's going to acknowledge our visitors for today uh, and give us um, uh, some words of welcome. And then after her, uh, we'll ask our uh, local president to come back and give us announcements and words of welcome at that time. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We um, just want to come and acknowledge um, our visitors this morning that we have. Um, I've seen quite a few of, of our churches in the, in the chat, whether it was online, in person, our, our virtual um, 
Sanctuary, I've seen uh, New Jersey Conference, Mount Pisgah, St. Matthew, um, and that was Mount Pisgah, Princeton. I've seen Tyree, AME, Bethany, Harrisburg, Metropolitan, Bethel Lansdowne, Greater Mount Olive, um, Campbell, Frankfurt, and I believe there might be a few I was missing, but I just want to thank you for sharing this day with us um, and, and bringing your presence um, into our service. So we certainly want to thank you um, and acknowledge you. Have a good day. And amen. And then we are blessed here uh, to have uh, a the South Area Missionary uh, Chairperson, and we want to certainly acknowledge her. She's technically not a visitor because she's a member here, um, but we want her to bring uh, some remarks. And so we're going to ask our own Sister Phyllis Ruffin uh, if she will join us at this time and share some words of encouragement and remarks with us. Good morning, good afternoon, good morning, good morning, St. Paul. I am so happy to be a part of the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society annual day. Reverend Fuller, that message was awesome. What makes a good missionary? Yes, you do not have to be a woman. You can be a man, boy, or girl going out and doing the work for the Lord. I just want to thank Sister Pat uh, Rivers, who is the local president, and to you, Reverend Malcolm Guyton, but mainly to the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society members. Thank you for the work that you are doing for the cause of missions. Most of all, thank you for being one of the 17 churches because our theme is unity, partners in mission. And being a member of St. Paul, I just want to thank each and every one of just St. Paul, all of those who are aligned, but to the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society for backing me, being with me as the area chair. It is good to know that your home church is standing not in front of you, not behind you, but beside you as we continue the work that the Lord has set ahead for us. Again, thank you. It was a blessed day. Be blessed for the rest of the day. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Phyllis. And uh, it is my prayer that uh, you have been blessed by the work that uh, St. Paul has done, and of course, the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society has done. Uh, I'll let uh, Sister Pat talk more about some of the things that are going on uh, that are they are doing throughout the year. Um, but right now, we want to share with you that there are multiple ways to give here at St. Paul. Uh, you can give using our Tithely app and search for St. Paul AME Church in Philadelphia and give securely on the app. And there is a button for the WMS Annual Day 2022. And so if you're watching with us today and sharing with us, you can give using that button for our Missionary Society. Then you can give using our Cash App. Our Cash Tag is STPAULAMEPA. Again, STPAULAME. PA. And if you have a special offering for the missionaries, you can designate that special offering in our memo, in the memo or the note section of Cash App. We'll make sure that they receive it. And then finally, you can mail your gifts to St. Paul AME Church, 8398 Lindbergh Boulevard, Philadelphia, PA 19153. Again, 8398 Lindbergh Boulevard, Philadelphia, PA one nine one five three however you decide to give um, we are so grateful and thankful uh, for your gift and we pray god's richest blessings upon you and won't we let's just pause just for a moment and pray over those gifts that god will bless them even in advance of you giving them father god we thank you right now for the gifts that have been given the gifts that will be given and ask that you would bless 
100 fold not just the gift not just saint paul but god bless the giver 100 fold in jesus name we pray and the family of god says together amen amen we're going to call on sister pat now just to bring us uh closing remarks and we'll prepare to leave for the day let me just share with you there will be a rebroadcast of our wms annual day we apologize to those of you who are watching on facebook um, we had some technical issues there'll be a rebroadcast of the worship experience this afternoon uh, so just keep checking on facebook uh, for the worship and the sermon in its entirety uh, at this time We'll ask Sister Pat to come and share with us just a few things that the missionaries are doing, uh, and then we will be ready to close our uh, annual day. Oh, good afternoon again. I could come back to you coming with so much. My heart is just so full. Um, what a word, Reverend uh, Fuller, what a word. I am just so, uh, we are so blessed to have been able to have you um, present for us, speak for us. Um, the Jenny Palmer Missionary Society is currently partnering with the Tilden Middle School. We have a personal care closet there where we bring in um, health care, body care products, um, whatever it is that the children may need uh, to help them be who they deserve to be. Um, and it is a wonderful thing. We have children come down every after, in the afternoons, every two weeks to get the things that they need. And it's such a joy to be able to work with them. Um, we are also working to have a self-care tea at some point. So we will be putting that word out. And um, we're just working within also with the food pantry because we're able to minister some folk to some people that come through there also. So I just would like to say that I'm so thankful to everyone who has participated in our annual day today. We have had a blessed day and God bless you for all that you've done to make this day um, a success. Thank you so much. And I would like to do the missionary benediction. In the name of the triune God, may the spirit of Christian missions enter every heart. May the spirit of Christian